welcome to KXC Online. If you're from KXC or St. Saviour's, you're so welcome. And if you're from anywhere else, you're so welcome that too. That is so right. You are so welcome wherever you are from today. Oh yeah. gosh, Emmy, that's quite tight. Today we've got so much to look forward to. Um, wow. We've got a challenge and <laughs> activity of the week. More on that later. Um, Colin's going to be continuing the story of Esther. Um, but right now, it's time for <laughs> Joke of the Week. <laughs> What's a parrot's favourite letter? Arrgh. You'd think it was, but actually it's the C. <laughs> Great joke. And if you've got any more jokes, send it in to... Send in your jokes to stories at kxc.org.uk. Thank you, Emmy. Well done. You totally remembered that. Now for our first song of worship. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's Are you happy. ready? It's happy day. Your love came to find 
so fun wasn't it it was amazing i'm exhausted what's it time for now prayers with Prayers. the johnson with the johnsons hi everyone hi. we're gonna pray all right you be first Bye. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for the NHS. Thank you for um, all of those services that are back up and running um, and all of those um, patients that have been waiting for um, treatments and surgeries. Father, we just pray that you will bless them, especially bless the staff that um, might feel a little bit exhausted and um, overrun. And, um, <laughs> May you um, yeah, fill them with your peace um, and may they find moments of rest um, even as they um, ramp up their work. Amen. Amen. And Lord, just thank you for the summer break. We just pray for all those parents that have um, the weeks ahead of them. Just pray they have time for rest. And we just thank you for all the teachers and all the hard work they've done these past few months. And um, thank you for Joe Wicks as well. <laughs> um, <laughs> Amen. 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 And now it's time for the story with Colin. So your job is to make sure that you can guess who the best role model is in this story. You ready? Settle in. Go. So, Esther had been chosen, had prayed, and was brave for such a time as this. And now she's at dinner with the king and Haman. Well, Haman's just popped to the loaf. Oh, sorry. sorry. Are you okay? Sorry. Oh. Oh. Babe, babe, now we're alone. It's like, what? A, you want something else? What is it? Out with it. Come on, just say the word. Okay. Well, if you're pleased with me and you want to do what I ask, please can you spare my life and the lives of my people 
We have been told that awful things are going to happen to us and only you can do anything to stop it and save us. What? What are you talking about? Who would do that? I'd never hurt you. Who would do it? Well, it's Heyman. He did it. Hmm. Guys, that hand sanitizer smells amazing. What? Arrest him! Stop him! No, seriously, stop. Stay two metres away. But you're under arrest. Oh. So, Mordecai and I are actually cousins. And we're Jewish refugees. And now, if you may, surely you have the power to change this horrible law and save loads of people's lives, including mine. Well, I mean, babe, I, I do have the power, obviously. That's, that's not, not in the question. I've got the power. But I, I can't just change the law. Um, but, but what I could do, what I could do, is create a new law that allow the Jewish people to defend themselves. I could do that. Um, and you know what? I'm going to give you all of Heyman's stuff because you deserve it. You're such a great role model. For the Jewish people, seeing two people dressed in royal robes who understood them and who would look out for them with power and kindness must have been such a special moment of celebration. So, the date came and the Jewish people were ready to fight and defend themselves. But... Nobody arrived. People were too scared of Mordecai and how powerful he was. And so they were safe. After all of this, we wanted a way to remember everything that happened, how much of a role model Esther had been and everything that God had done for us. So we sent out a letter across the kingdom to say that we should all have a party every year where we give gifts to each other and the poor and remember how our worrying and pain had turned to joy. We called this celebration Purim, and the Jewish people still celebrate it today. All right, everybody, now it's your turn to get involved. So we're going to give you 20 seconds to think of your favorite bit of what you've just watched and then make a picture with your bodies and freeze. And then you can take a photo and send it to us or you can have a look and see what everyone else is doing too. What a story we've had over the last four weeks. I have absolutely loved it. And I must say, the acting has been, well, it's been nothing short of superb. And there seems to be a lot of love out there for King Xerxes. And we got this picture in from Theo, who was spotted with the sunglasses and his weekend crown on. Yes, mate, love it, absolutely love it. And what an ending today, right? Just when it looked like the Jewish people were in great danger, God turned things around and saved them. And you know what? He did it through Esther. What an incredible role model she is. Now, over the last four weeks, we've learned some huge lessons through this story. Firstly, Esther knew who she was. God had chosen her for such a time as this. Secondly, Esther had faith in God. She gathered her friends around, they fasted, they prayed, they sought God and he moved. Thirdly, Esther was brave and courageous. And again, it's great to see a couple of young lads out there following suit. Go on, Phoenix and Rocco and Steve. It's great to see you being so strong and courageous and knocking down those towers. Be strong and courageous. Hooray! Be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. And here's a little secret. I'm going to whisper it to you. We can be like Esther. The Bible is full of stories, incredible stories of women and men who are great examples and models for us. Showing us what it looks like to follow God. And Esther is one of the best examples of a role model. Because just like Esther, you and I have been put here 
on this earth for a purpose. God has a plan. He's a purpose for your life, just like he had for Esther's. Esther is a great role model for us. She shows us what it's like to follow God's plan for our lives. And just like Esther did, you and I can pray and have faith in God and you and I can be brave and courageous. No matter where you've came from, what you look like, how much money you've got, it doesn't matter. God has put you on earth for a purpose. So if you're feeling uncertain and unsure of what to do, remember, let's be like Esther. We've got to be brave and we've got to look to God because God has a great plan for you. Say it to the person beside you. God has a great plan for you. Now, it's our last week of the memory verse, so let's do it together. Here we go. Let's see if you can remember it. Maybe you were made queen for such a time as this. Esther 4 verse 14. All right, let's do it again. Maybe you were made queen for such a time as this. Esther 4 verse 14. Brilliant. Well done, guys. Great work. Great work. Um, okay, I'm going to pray and then we're going to hand back over to the Seymours. So let's pray. God, we thank you that you have a plan for our lives. We thank you that just like Esther, when we pray, when we turn to you, when we seek your face, that you move, that you speak to us and that you answer. God, I pray that you would help us to be brave and courageous, just like Esther, in whatever you ask us to do. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Back over to the Seymours. Hey, what an amazing story about Esther and Mordecai. They must have had a phenomenal party. And what an incredible role model Esther was. Ben, James, who are your role models? My one's Esther, because she's a bit annoying now. But she's my little sister. She's your little sister and Beth, your little sister, is your role model. Why is she such a role model to you, my love? Because she looks cute. Because she just looks cute, yeah. That's a that's a phenomenal reason. Benji Boo, how about you? Who's your role my model? My role model is my teacher. How come? Because I want to be one... I want to be a teacher when I grow up and I just really like her. That's absolutely lovely. That's an amazing role model. What a phenomenal teacher. We now come to the fun part of this service, which is activity of the week. So now you've watched the next bit of the story, you can add in the final part of your cartoon by drawing in what you remember happened. So now it's, it's time, time for, for Challenge of, Challenge of the, the week. week. Challenge of the Week. Okay, so here's what you've got to, what you've got to do this week. Find a piece of paper and on one side of the paper, draw a picture of your role model. And around your role model, I want you to draw, write three things that you love about that role model. They need to flip the paper over and draw a picture of you, yourself. And I bet if you think about it, the three things that you love about your role model are three things which you're really, really good at. So send any jokes, challenge of the week activities to stories at kxc.org.uk. So we're almost finished, but we've got one more song left. It's time for... Deep Down. Deep Down. Deep Down.
I'm exhausted. That has been the best service. Hasn't that been fun? Yes. Yeah, it has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. And obviously we'll be back at 10 a.m. next week for the All Age Family Service. We'd love to see you there too. If you're a big kid, aka an adult, we'll have an 11 a.m. and a 4.30 p.m. today, so do join us for that. And next week, this is kind of right on time, we really have not planned this. We're gonna be getting some green fingers. We'll be getting green fingers in the garden, starting a new story and asking ourselves how we can grow with God together. Lastly, if you are here for the first time and you are a family, we'd love to get to know you better. So do head on over to the website, click on the I'm new button and a member of the team will be so glad to get in touch with you. So that's it. I think all there is left is for maybe Benj or Em for you to say a prayer. If you, if you want to do that, that'd be amazing. Amazing. Benj is going to say a prayer as we head into a new week. Dear Lord Jesus, please please can you feel the Thank you for filling the Holy Spirit in our hands today. Amen. Amen. Oh, Ems, did you want to say a prayer too? I'm going to say thank you for building us and then the whole world to our feet and at the wonderful Rome and the Grand Prix. So I'm going to be able to just feel the Holy Spirit in our hands Man, thank you for gravity. Incredible. Guys, have a phenomenal week, a great day. We'll see you here next time soon. God bless.